guys, today I'm at the Renwick Museum in Washington, D.C., and I'm going to share with you the top things about dating in D.C. The thing about dating in D.C. is that most of the people are super duper smart. So if you like intellectual folks, and you like having interesting conversations with people that are pretty well educated but not too full of themselves, a lot of times you can find that type here in DC. A bunch of people move from other parts of the US to be here in DC. So a lot of times you can have really interesting conversations with people about where they're actually from and what brought them to the city here in DC. To be honest, typically it's for a job, usually in IT or some part of the government, but not always. So that's always a good icebreaker when uh, you're first meeting people. Where are you from and what brought you to DC? There are a bunch of professional people, mainly in IT and working for the government of some sort, so you don't really have to worry about people kind of, for the most part, being scrubs because everyone has kind of a professional background or job that they're working with. So if you're interested in that, that is one of the best things about this city. They definitely used to call DC Chocolate City, so if you're looking for black professional people, you can definitely find a bunch of them here. Like all of the major world cities, DC has a bunch of free museums. So there's a bunch of places that you can take meet people, or people can take you, or you can take people on dates. So that's definitely a plus. The free museums and free beautiful places that you can definitely meet up and uh, do lunch, do dinner, or just uh, kind of peruse around with uh, your new date. There's so many opportunities to find people that think like you. There's so many events, so many places you can run into like-minded people. So I'm not gonna say that it's easy to find someone to date, but there are opportunities to go out, be around like-minded people uh, who like either art or politics or business or, you know, music scene here is pretty decent as well. So whatever scene you're into, DC is such a big city, you can find that scene and then there's a potential to find someone who you like, who is of the same mindset. And the final good thing about dating in DC is that it's close enough to the south that you have a bunch of ratchet sophisticate and bougetto people. What are ratchet sophisticates and bougetto people? They are well educated, well classy, well groomed, professional folks, but that still know how to turn up when the time calls for it. So there you have it. All right guys, those are the best things about dating in DC. I know it can be a little bit disheartening dating in big cities, but there are some positives about it. So I hope those tips kind of gave you guys some inspiration about being single in the city. I do these videos so you know you're not out here in this sometimes crazy dating world. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys again soon.